Right, welcome back. And today we're putting the Wainwrights on hold because we're in the Highlands and we're gonna bag a Munro today. It's one of the bucket list ones and it's called Stob Gerag. Now it's past the iconic Buchel Etiv Moor mountain just here. There is a second Munro along the ridge. I haven't decided if I'm going to traverse that yet because I'm on a, a little adventure up in the Highlands today. Other places to go, other things to see. So, but I do want to get to the top of Stob Gerag and have a look across Rannoch Muir. It's a beautiful clear sky day today. Couldn't wish for anything more spectacular. Yeah, so this is me three days after the failed three peak challenge that we did, although it was a spectacular day. We did two of them. The video is the previous one on this channel. Um, we did Ben Nevis and Scorfell Pike, so I urge you to check that out if you want to see some pretty crystal clear views off the top of the biggest one in England. Sorry, blasphemy, Scotland. <laughs> the island even. But yeah, this has been a bucket list mountain of mine for the last two and a half years since I found out that I enjoyed this activity. <laughs> a couple of years ago we did the Bidyan Nambian route. A bit further down the glen there, but uh, yeah, anyone who comes to the Highlands will always be struck by this pyramidal mound here. It's so iconic. Cup of tea waiting at the top. Oh yes, as usual. Easy path so far. Straightforward, can't get lost. Got the old map on the watch as you can see, as well as a bit of safety. But yeah, let's get up here. Well, that was almost a bloody disaster. I took my jacket off, about 50 meters down there, and I left my GoPro. <laughs> I was gonna get it out to film this lovely trickle of water here, and I thought, oh, I haven't got it. So I had to gnash 50 meters back down there, just to come back up, bloody hell. <sighs> ah, well, it means more time on this beautiful hill. I like bits like this, you, you ascend quite rapidly, but you're not focusing on the exercise, you're just focusing on where you put your feet and uh, concentrating, so yeah, you get up here quite quickly. Now, I don't want to curse myself too soon. Well, this is going pretty relatively easy up to now. Path is uh, very structured, very solid. Not many loose rocks, if any. I'm well up into the uh, 
into the gully now. I think once we get to the top of here somewhere, we're going to cut up to the left. But according to the map, it doesn't look too much further. So yeah, I think this mountain's in excess of a thousand meters. And like I say, there is two Munros on this ridge. I don't know if I've got the energy to do both, but I will do the distinctive one of Stop Gerag. That's the one everybody sees on the way on the A82 into Glencoe. I can't. It always draws your eye. You almost crash your car. <laughs> You've got to be looking out for deer and dodging them whilst looking at the mountains around you and all of a sudden this bugger comes up and you're like wow how am i not supposed to look at that <laughs> so i'm surprised there isn't more accidents on the a82 or if there are they're not reported <laughs> look at this man oh, having just said that about the path a scrambly section appears but still very solid beautiful right. a good friend of mine very recently gave me an excellent piece of advice I think I knew it already but it kind of slipped my mind filming all these Wainwrights and uh, and mountains sometimes you forget about the enjoyment and being in the moment I'm not doing these to tick them off I'm doing these because they're fantastic places to be and I wouldn't be here otherwise look at this man a remote well a Munro in the highlands of Scotland I'm here maybe two, maximum three times a year probably. I intend to go more often once I've finished the wane right, but as for now and for the foreseeable future, I need to enjoy these moments. Because like you said, they're over like that. You're just thinking, oh I need to get up this hill, I need to get up this hill. Get up, touch the summit, tea and down. No, this is the bit to enjoy. This. Oh, this gully looking back every now and again to where you've came the destination's up there somewhere I might not even get there so I'm not going to focus on that that's where I've came from and that's my focus anything else from there is a bonus be in the moment And believe me, you'll enjoy it more. That's maybe why I'm finding this one quite easy, because I'm just enjoying it. Going at my own pace. Breathing the air. Very little pollution here. It's like some things are your desires in life, and some things are your achievements in life. Desires we can live without. We've proven it to get to this point. And when you're climbing a hill, you have that. That's my desire there, to be up there. But that's what I've achieved. That's real. That's what I've achieved. That's fake. Until I get there. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Somewhat wise. Work it out for yourself. Pretty late. I spent the week thinking about her. Next day, it was easier than so much easier than 
Or like the time I picked you up outside of school You said, screw my dad, I make my own rules It was easier than So much easier than Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah, we had one of those things Just had one of those things Ooh. I guess I've had some things to figure out But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you Take me back to the, take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, babe Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall Felt so alive, and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief. Yeah, we had one of those things. When we stopped at nothing, babe. Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby. They couldn't take us. They couldn't change us, they couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all, about winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief, yeah we had one of those things Ooh, We just had one of those things Right, here we are on top of the Munro of Stob Gerag, I think it's called, on the Buchal Etiv Moor. And what you can see here is Rannoch Moor, a vast open area of nothingness, a bit like some people's brains. Just the A82 snaking through it, through the Glencoe Glen. Wow, what this is beyond how good I imagined it ever being up here. Wow, I did save it for a clear day and I have got that and it is a massive reward. Look at this drop. It's just a sheer thousand, two thousand foot drop pretty much down there. You might bounce once. It's the iconic pyramid shape as you as you come through the mirror there. You can't miss it. Everybody takes a picture of this hill, but from all the way down there by the road not up here so i feel very blessed and privileged to have the capability of getting up here oh my god how am i gonna get down from here absolutely stunning and we can see over to ben nevis there that we did three days ago a lot of the snow's gone off it now but it is starting to spit with snow here so yeah there is a, another munro on this ridge line i haven't decided if i'm going to do it yet i'll head towards it um which is over yonder there there's a bit of a scent still to get up to that i think i've got the energy so i might just bag it yeah 
I can see my car parked. There's a little forest just there. And just to the left of the forest is where my car's parked. Very straightforward walk, actually. A little bit scrambly near the stop top, but not, nothing major, to be honest with you. I would say, like, this is a, a Munro in excess of a thousand meters, and I would say Scorfell Pike is harder than this. Um, even though that's got like a, a decent path all the way up, so is this. And you get here pretty quickly. It's taken me, what, nearly three hours, but. I, I muck about when I come off these things. I do a lot of filming and I just sit there and admire the view, but wow, this is spectacular. <sighs> yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my brew here, pack up my bag, head towards the second Munro. If I don't fancy it, I'll cut back down into the valley. Right, that's just us leaving the summit of Stob Gerag. First one of the day. Now the second Munro, I don't think it's that point there, I think it's behind that one. Descend this one, descend, descend this one, and then retrace our steps, and then I think there's a path down this valley here. Can I stop filming? Everywhere you look, there's a sheer mound of rock, beautiful crags, and dabbles of snow, little dustings on top, and quarries. And hey, this is a place to be. And this is definitely a contender. It's one of the best walks I've done. I think I've done 40 odd on this channel so far, but it hasn't been that even that taxing and the views are spectacular. Oh, the paths are relatively easy as well. I'm told most of the Munros are like that anyway, but Right, so I think we're working our way up now. The second Munro top, although not an official Munro. There's Stob Gerag that we've just descended. Walked around the ridge. I thought that was the second top before, but I don't think it is. Stob Nadwar, I think it is, that we're heading up now. The second, and then we've got two more after this one before a descent into the valley. Only one of them being an actual Munro. I think it's the one at the bloody back. So yeah, you have to ascend all four <laughs> to get the second Munro. But anyway, we're enjoying ourselves still. Didn't want to be skidding doing there. What do you think? Right. Here we are just peeking out on the second Munro top of the day. And I think it's Stob Nadwa. A little bit shorter than Stob Gerag over there. It's not its own Munro in its own right. 
because it's too close to that one I believe is is the rules but anyway we bag it oh it's absolutely stunning and if I'm not mistaken I'm looking down there now there's Rarak Moo over there and the A82 but there's a road that runs down here and I believe this is the James Bond Skyfall road because I don't think it goes anywhere and there's a lot of cars on it so I guess it gets a lot of traffic just from people driving down it to say I was on the James Bond Skyfall road anyway yeah that must be over there so yeah this is Stob Nadoir I think that's Stob Corrie Altrum there the third one and that bigger one right at the back there I think that's the Munro of Stob Nabroga so yeah heading this way and then I think there's a cut off back down into the uh, into the valley so yeah this is another thousand meter peak we had that one and this one the next two that we're going to are below 950 meters so that's good not as much extent Right, we're just working our way up our third Munro top of Stob Corrie Altrim before we head over to the actual Munro of Stob Broger, Stobna Broger, something like that. And then I've got to come back this way, and where that snow line is, there is a path down, so it looks pretty straightforward from here. Here we are, the summit cairn of Stob Corrie Ultram, 900 and something metres, and the third of four of the day. Oh, boom! Oh, right, Jesus. Oh. This will be a decent view. Whoa. Alright. I can see the path back to the car along the valley floor there. I'm guessing that's going to be quite a sheer descent. To get back to that. But yeah, I can see the actual Munro now, which is that one over there. Stop the Baroga. The second official Munro of the day. Right, we're just coming up to the final ascent of the second Munro of the day, Stobna Bro, which is up here. Apologies for the pronunciations, like I said. I didn't actually intend to do this one today, but I was driving past and I seen clear skies and I thought, that's my opportunity <laughs> to do the Buca Letiv Mo with clear skies. Boy, have I been rewarded. Wow. Met a nice old fella there from down Glasgow way. 73 year old. He's bombing off these Munros like, like it's 
25. Impressive. He's going up Hidden Valley tomorrow, I think, to do the Munros, and I'm pretty sure it's those ones over there. I think you've got Bidian Nambian and Stob Cory Scrimac. Are the two in that area. And then, yeah, pretty sure the valley's just over there. Probably should have told him it's not a pleasant path up that valley. <laughs> as this one is pretty easy going but anyway I'm sure they'll manage 73 Jesus I hope I'm doing it at that age I hope I'm around at that age Christ anyway we're just approaching the second Munro of the day if I can find the summit ah there it is Pretty decent sized cairn for my arrival. Here we go. Fourth top of the day and second Munro. A stob Nabroga. Apologies for the pronunciation. That's it. Bagged. And that's the Bucolative Moor. Jesus. Complete. Thank you, sir. And yeah, we can see all the other tops from this vantage point, all four, right in the far distance. You've got Stob Gerag, which is the first of the day, um, Stob Nadoir, Stob Cory Ultram, and the fourth and second Munro of the day of Stob Nabroga. So I'm going to have a cup of tea here before heading back down and finding the path down into the valley. Thank God that's over. The Bucolettive Moor complete. You know what? These are once in a lifetime views. I've probably got no plans to ever come back here. If my ambition is to tick off all 282 Munros, I don't have the time <laughs> to come back here. But it is a special ridge. The Buchel Etivmore, I've en enjoyed as much, no, not as much as Bidjian, I don't think, but uh, yeah, it's been spectacular. Jeez. I'm sorry I can't name anything here. This is all alien to me, really. I've only done a handful. Right, I've had a cup of tea and a meal around here for a good 10, 20 minutes. Now it's time to head back up to the third top, Stob Corrioltrim, and just down from there is the path back into the valley, which will head along the floor to the car. Right, that's just us heading down Stob Nabrog now. Back onto the third top, I think I have to overtake that again. Stob Corrioltrim, and the path is on the other side of that dip of the Bielac back into the valley and I think it's about four miles back from here so let's go so that's where we just came from I'm going to head down into this uh, Bielac seen a nice comfortable path down into the valley on my way up so 
I don't have any concerns about the rest of the route. But, uh, I don't want to go down, this is beautiful up here. If you pitch a tent anywhere here, loads of lovely flat grass. There's absolutely zero wind as well, which has made this day absolutely perfect. Absolutely blessed. Uh, it's coming up about three o'clock now. Yeah. I've said on my videos before, I don't know how much of this I should film. But when you get a day that isn't windy, it's clear. I just want to fill my boots with it. Look at that. <laughs> right, let's stop dawdling and get down this hill. Right, that's us at the point where the path splits off go down into the valley a little bit sketchy initially with this snow but if we navigate that and then isn't too much of it really back onto the rock so I just need to careful my way on this part here no foolish or sudden mistakes <laughs> Just to there. Please, oh please, please, please. Let me, let me just get to that path. <laughs> uh, no, Jesus. Funny content if I slipped. Well, that's the slide. Not as fun as sliding down Ben Nevis the other day. Sadly, I didn't get any footage, footage of it, but wow, that was a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, nearly that. Oh, yeah. Maintain my dignity. I'll just do these next two steps. Yes. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. No, oh, no fall for me. No fall for me. Ooh. Yeah. There. Ha. Stupid snow. Right. Plain sailing all the way down now. So yeah, this has been the Buchel Etiv Moor. Four peaks today. We've done Stob Gerard, Stob Nan Dwa, Stob Corrie Altrim, and Stob Nan Broga. Four Gaelic pronunciations, so hopefully I got those right. I'm going to sign off the adventure from here. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the views. Um, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.